Chinese has been pretty silent, and in the last 20, 30 years, I think it's getting to be more uh, active. I feel it's very, very important to start. And uh, no matter you support Donald Trump or Hillary, you need to be uh, a, a voice and to be active and to uh, have your uh, community voice heard by the mainstream. So the more growth out, the more issues that we address to, the more changes we're going to have. So I can see that uh, it has like to be more influential and also more important to play, play a role in our society. Uh, we do canvassing. Uh, we do fundraising and uh, policy writing for, for the Trump team. Chinese Americans mainly are, are increasingly involved and spearleading, spearheading the Asian Americans uh, in, this, in this movement. My message is that it is very important that Asian Americans participate in the governance process of this country. Opportunities for Asian Americans are very, very bright. So as Asian Americans become more assimilated, become more comfortable with the language, become more secure financially, they're going to participate more, increasingly more, in mainstream America. I think it's great that the Chinese American community is growing even more influential in politics. And, and I think that the Chinese American community, they've obviously been uh, overrepresented in a lot of important areas like academia and the business community, but they've been underrepresented in politics. And so I think it's always good when they can have a voice. Now China's influence globally, China's influence in America brings Asia with it. The merging of culture is refreshing and it refreshes the focus on maintaining the integrities of our constitution. We are so blessed.